Welcome back children. The topic I am going to take up right now is Ascal Helminth. Many of the points of Ascal Helminth has already been discussed in my first, second and third lecture where I gave you a comparative account of all the invertebrates. Right? Now we are going to see those points in details and some extra points which are left, you know, still left to be uh, discussed. Right? So without wasting time, let us move into Ascal Helminth. Now what you know that the first topic we discuss is the habitat. Most of the Ascal helmets, Ascal helmets are also called as Nimag helmets. I have already told you. There are two names. One is Ascal helmets and the other is Nimag helmets. Right? The helmets, I also want to tell you one thing. That Ascal helmets or Nimag helmets and Kisar Aapka hai Platy helmets. Right? Isse pehle I taught you Platy helmets. In general, Pathy helmets and Ascal helmets together, they are called as worms. Right? They are called as worms. Now, since Pathy helmets are flat, so they are called as flat worms. And Ascal helmets, they are round, so we call them as round worms. But in general, together we call them as worms. Right? So, now let us come. The, you, commonly we call them as round worms. Why? Because if we cut a you know ascal helmet like this, you know, we find that the body is completely circular in outline. Since the body is completely circular in outline, so we also call them as round worms. Now these round worms are mostly endoparasites. I told you they are also mostly endoparasites. See how they have populated our gut. See how it is coming out of the nose of the child. And since it is a parasite, see how the, they have this hooks and suckers at the anterior end of their body. They are found in animals including human beings. But some of them can be free living as well. And those who are free living, they can be either terrestrial or freshwater or marine. But most of them, they are parasitic. And at certain times, what they do is, they block, if you do not cure them on time, they will block the entire intestine and that can cause real trouble to you as well. Right? So, this is about their habitat. Now, let us come to their body. You know that, as just I told you, that if you look at them, if you just cut it like this, the internal structure, it actually is round. Since they are cylindrical, circular in cross-section, they are also called as round worms. Now, silo, you know that these are the first organism which are pseudo silomates. That means, yes, a cavity has come between the, the gut and the, you know, uh, there is a cavity between the gut and the body wall, but this cavity is not lined by mesoderm on all sides. So, such a uh, cavity which is not lined on mesoderm on all sides, this is called as a pseudo silo. So, you know that, that these are the first organisms which are pseudo silomates. Now, once if you look at the body inside, I want you to show you one more thing. If you remember, I told you that these are the first organisms where muscles have developed. And I told you the muscles that are developed in them, these are your longitudinal muscles. These are your longitudinal muscles. Now look at this. If I cut a section of this carus, this section So just look at it, how the body looks. They have an exoskeleton made up of cuticle. थोड़ा सा बाहर में क्यूटिकल का एक्सोस्केलेटन होता है ठीक उसके नीचे यू हैव एपिडर्मिस एंड इट इज रिटन इट इज सीन साइकल एपिडर्मिस दैट मींस द एपिडर्मिस इज मल्टी न्यूक्लिएटेड मैंने पहले भी बताया सीन साइकल मींस मल्टी न्यूक्लिएटेड उसके बाद दिस इज योर एक्टोडर्म व्हिच इज फॉर्मिंग द एपिडर्मिस देन दिस इज द मीसोडर्म व्हिच इज फॉर्मिंग द मसल्स राइट एंड द मसल्स हियर इफ यू सी दैट दीस आर ओनली लॉन्गिट्यूडल मसल्स उसके बाद देखिए ये इसका सीडो सिलो है ठीक दीज आर दीज आर द मसल एंड ये मसल से प्रोसेस निकल रहा है दिस इज द सीडो सिलो एंड देन इन द सेंटर दिस इज द गट और द इंटेस्टीन आई नो दीज थिंग्स आर नॉट दे डू नॉट कम इन मेडिकल बट यू मस्ट हैव अ यू नो पिक्चर ऑफ द ऑर्गेनिज्म यू आर स्टडीइंग जस्ट जस्ट इमेजिन दिस इज अ राउंड वर्म दे आर नॉट सो बिग दे आर वेरी स्मॉल दे फाउंड इन अ इंटेस्टीन बट इफ यू कट अ सेक्शन दे शो अ एक्सोस्केलेटन ऑफ क्यूटिकल देन दे हैव एपिडर्मिस एक्टोडर्म फॉर्मिंग एपिडर्मिस This is syncytial, that is multinuclear. Then they have a mesoderm, right, which is which forms muscles. Then they have a pseudo silo, and in the center they have the gut, which is of course lined by the endoderm. See, the muscle layer is consists of only longitudinal muscle fibers. 
ठीक है सो वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट दो आई टेल यू वन थिंग व्हेन आई वाज एट योर एज वी यूज्ड टू हैव वेरी गुड प्रैक्टिकल्स नॉट द प्रैक्टिकल्स लाइक यू ऑल हैव यू जस्ट हैव फन देयर एंड यू लर्न नथिंग अगर हम लोग को यू नो वी अगर वी हैड यू नो वी हैड अ स्लाइड ऑन टीयर्स ऑफ अ स्कैरेस सो इन जब हमारा स्लाइड लगता था तो हाउ टू आइडेंटिफाई दैट इट इज अ स्कैरेस there was only two identification mark one it has seen cervical epidermis and then you could find longitudinal muscles so you know the, when you look at these in a slide you remember it i remember it from the time of my school that this is how the body it would actually look like now that the body has been discussed let us come to the symmetry and you know that the body is bilaterally symmetrical if you cut the body you can just see it there is only one plane across which the body can be divided into two equal halves After symmetry, we will come to germ layers. You know that from platy helminth onward, all the organisms are triploblastic. That is, they have ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm. They are the first organisms in which uh, there is a pseudo coelom, and the development is not organ system. You will just say uh, that the development is organ level, right? Uh, in CRT, me it is given organ level. they have organ level development level of development that means they have a lot of organs you let us see some of the organs organs they have see you can see reproductive system gut digestive system bahar mein cuticle hai this is your nervous system ha na the nervous system their digestive system has pharynx nervous system has brain besides that you know that platy helminth mein already excretory system aa gaya so excretion actually takes place through a pore called as excretory pore so these are some of the organs which are actually developed in their body now we will come to one of the systems one by one the first system we will study is the digestive system the digestive system you know that this is the first organism i need not tell you again this is the first organism where the digestive system is complete that means there is a complete there is a separate mouth and anus this i have been telling you since long these are the first one in which there is a proper mouth and there is a proper anus and we call this as a tube within a tube system bahar mein tube hai jiske andar mein tube paya jata hai this digestive system as you can see this is differentiated into mouth then there is a muscular pharynx and then there is a intestine and then it will lead to the outside through the anus so there is a complete digestive system which is found in them right so once and the digestion is completely extra cellular that also i told you in my first lecture excretion yes excretory system to aapka platy helminth se hi aa chuka hai just see there this is the excretory organ and this excretory organ actually leads to the outside through a pore called as excretory pore aapke in crt mein to excretory organ ka naam likha hi nahi hai be it excretory pore or whatever x y z but in some of the books side books you will find that they have another excretory organ called as renate cells or renate glands about which i mentioned you in my introductory lecture so agar man hai to aap pad sakte hain otherwise excretory pore is also sufficient the aapke ncrt mein to wo bhi nahi likha hua hai respiration and circulation you know that the respiratory system for the first time came in arthropod and circulatory system for the first time came in annelids so obviously both the systems are absent this they do it through their body surface nervous system you know it had come earlier and aapko pata hai ab sare non chordic mein nervous system kaisa hoga just look at this uh, you know nervous system so this is your brain this white color structure theek hai this is the brain like structure anterior mein dekho hua kya na pehle aapka ek nerve cord aaya just a cord containing nerves later cephalization happened that means some of the neurons they started concentrating at one end so that they could form the head office from where all the nervous activity could be regulated and this head office came to be later came to be known as brain theek hai to ye aapka baad mein bana brain to dheere dheere non brain is a typical character to chordates but bahut sare non chordic mein hi the neurons they started accumulating at one end forming brain like structure theek hai yahan par dekho yahan dikha raha hai there is a brain then uh, see it is showing a dorsal nerve cord i told you this white color structure beta you will follow see here i'm drawing it in the red color i told you in all the non chordates the the nerve cord is dorsal and solid uh, sorry it is uh, not dorsal nerve cord it should have been ventral nerve cord sorry 
in nerve a non chordate it is the ventral nerve cord but in them it has actually branched isse branch kar gaya ye aapka jo digestive system hai dekho beech mein aapka digestive system hai and yahan par aapka ye brain uh, ye neuron hai one branch has gone to the dorsal end and one has gone to the ventral end and it is enclosing like this but in general in non chordates we say that the nerve uh, nervous system or the nerve cord it is ventral and solid so it is normally ventral and solid but one branch has also gone towards the dorsal end anyways this is just for your interest aapko to sirf itna hi padhna hai ki they have ventral solid nerve cord right and uh, there is a this is circumpharyngeal ring circumpharyngeal ring is this around the pharynx you know the neurons this dorsal and the ventral they actually meet in the form of a ring so this is called as a circumpharyngeal ring again all this thing is just for your interest again i will say for medical this will not come this is not important ठीक नर्वस सिस्टम के बाद यू नो दैट द लास्ट सिस्टम दैट वी डिस्कस दैट इज ऑलवेज द रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम दिस इज द ऑर्गेनिज्म वेयर अभी तक आपने क्या पढ़ा द मेल एंड फीमेल दे आर फाउंड इन द सेम बॉडी दे आर बाइसेक्सुअल दे आर बाइसेक्सुअल आपने सब में अभी तक क्या पढ़ा दे वर ऑल बाइसेक्सुअल नाउ हियर द सेक्सेस आर सेपरेट नाउ दिस इज अगेन वेरी यूनिक टू दिस दैट मींस दे आर यूनिसेक्सुअल एंड आई टोल्ड यू यूनिसेक्सुअल इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज डायोशियस right so they are unisexual or dioecious where and they are the first organism where we had i will give you one word for this sentence they are the first one where we have sexual dimorphism you know what is sexual dimorphism takes that means di means two and morph means morphological forms there are two distinct male and female aap upar se bata sakte kaun male hai kaun female आप हाइड्रा में नहीं बता सकते यू कैन नॉट टेल इट इन लोअर ऑर्गेनिज्म दिस इज द फर्स्ट ऑर्गेनिज्म एंड ए वेरी क्लियर टू डिस्टिंग्विश दिस आल्सो कम्स इन द मेडिकल यू नो द फीमेल बॉडी इज लॉन्ग लॉन्ग लॉन्गर एंड द मेल बॉडी इज शॉर्ट दिस इज द फर्स्ट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक एंड मेल का एंड इज कॉइल यू कैन सी लाइक दिस कॉइल दिस इज द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक द फीमेल इज लॉन्ग एंड द फीमेल मेल इज शॉर्ट एंड कॉइल ठीक सो फर्टिलाइजेशन हेयर इज इंटरनल दैट मीन्स द मेल गैमेट गोज इन साइड द बॉडी ऑफ द फीमेल द फीमेल्स आर लॉन्गर देन द मेल्स एंड द टिप ऑफ द मेल इज कर्व फर्टिलाइजेशन इज इंटरनल डेवलपमेंट में इट मे बी डायरेक्ट और इनडायरेक्ट डायरेक्ट मीन्स देर इज नो लार्वल फॉर्म्स इन सम ऑफ दैट द लार्वा मे बी प्रेजेंट राइट सो विद दैट द रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम हैज ऑल्सो बीन डन सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू गो फॉर सम कॉमन एग्जाम्पल्स that you are supposed to know theek hai so let us see this this is ascaris right this is ascaris this is also called as round worm now this is bucheria bucheria aap detail mein class 12 mein in human health and disease diseases mein padhenge this is bucheria iske do species hote hain you will study it in class 12 one is bucheria bancrofti and the other is bucheria malai right and bucheria ke sath kya hai it causes a disease called as elephantiasis i don't know whether you have heard this the name of the disease or not it is called as elephantiasis why do we call it as elephantiasis because the limbs normally the legs below the genitals they get very big they just look like an elephant foot so we also call this disease the the disease which is caused by them this is called as elephantiasis iska do species aapko padhna hai bucheria bancrofti in 12 we have to study abhi pad loge to 12th ka kaam aasan ho jayega and the other is bucheria malai right now let us come to third example that you have to study this is called as encyclostoma see most of they all look alike the common name is hookworm okay so i will give you one uh, you know abbreviation how to learn or or ascaris encyclostoma and bucheria right so this is a good way to learn it now we will move over to the ncrt to see what is there in your ncrt on this topic askel helmets please open page 52 of your ncrt phylum askel helmets is given over here this is the diagram example of askel helminth is round worm this is the female ascaris and the male one you can see the end is coiled and it has two small you know projections as well i you just seen your ncrt like this 
The phylum is still helmet. The body in cross section is circular, so we call them as round worms. They may be free living, aquatic and terrestrial, but most of them they are parasites on plants and animals. Achha, they have organ system level. Okay, in your NCRT, it has given organ system. So you will learn organ system only. Okay, not organ, that was right in the PowerPoint. It is organ system level of, actually it is organ, but in your NCRT, it's given organ system. So we learn it as organ system. They are bilaterally symmetrical. You can see it over here. Elementary canal, it is complete. It has a pharynx. Excretion takes place through a tube, I told you. They are through an excretory pore. So excretory pore is also there in your NCRT. Sexes are separate. Males and females are distinct. Females are often longer. Fertilization is in the, the internal. Development may be direct or indirect. Example may be scaris, vucheria, filarial worm. Scar is commonly called as round worm, bilarial worm, and this is called as encyclostoma, also called as hook worm. Right? So with that, the NCRT discussion is also over. So with that, we have come to an end to the topic Askel helmets. Very few points. Just learn the points of the NCRT in example. That is more than sufficient for your medical. So I hope now you can learn it easily. In my next class, I'm going to deal with the next phylum that is Anneli. Till then, keep studying. And for you, good luck and goodbye.